Welcome back to my Roblox beginner scripting tutorial series. My name is Brawl Battle, and in this episode, we'll be talking about return statements. So, if we go back to our functions script that we worked on in the last video, this one's gonna be a really quick tutorial because there's not that much to talk about with return statements other than the fact that they are a very helpful feature for you as the developer to utilize inside of your functions. And also just, so if we go back to one of one of our functions, let's say the addition function. So we have the result by by computing the value of number one plus number two, and then we're printing that result. But instead of utilizing the result that we have here and then just using the print statement to, to print it here, what if we wanted to return that value that we calculated? So in order to do that, what we'd have to do is we'd have to make modifications to this function to be able to perform the operation and then return the statement so that if we create a variable down here and set that equal to addition, then we'll be getting a returning value after we call in the function by and also adding parameters in here. I'll show you what I mean. So let's control A and delete all this because I want you to practice uh, typing typing out functions and calling them. So we're going to create a new function. Uh, we're going to call this uh, multiplication this time. So we'll call this multiplication. And then we're going to add in the open parenthesis and close parenthesis and then we'll hit enter. So then uh, inside of our parameters, we're going to add in number one, number two, and then let's throw in a number three variable in here just to make things a little more challenging. Not really challenging, but just to make it different. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our local variable since we're inside of the function. So we're going to start with local uh, result equals number one plus number two plus number three. So Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, not plus, it's multiply using the asterisk. Uh, my mistake there. So we're going to do number one times number two times number three. And then what we're going to do is, instead of doing our print statement, what we're gonna do instead is we're going to simply type in the keyword return. Return, oh, sorry, return like this. So as you can see, Roblox highlighted this as a keyword. And what we're going to do is, we're going to return result like this. We're going to return result like this because essentially what we're doing is if we come down here and we call in multiplication with the number one, number two, number three, result will calculate uh, the multiplication of all these three numbers. And then it's going to return the result back into our, our code or um, the function when we called multiplication. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a variable called... Um, Let's say, let's call this variable result, or no, main result. How about that? Uh, and how we're gonna do this is we're going to uh, say result equals uh, multiplication, and then we're gonna throw in three numbers in here. Let's say five, five, five. Or actually, no, let, let's, let's make it a little bit easier. Let's do two, two, two. That's what we're gonna do. So if we pass in, two, two, and two for three numbers. Two times two is four, four times two is eight. These three numbers are gonna be passed into here, and then result is going to calculate the multiplication of these three numbers, and then result is going to be returned into back into this variable, and sorry, I meant to say main result. That's what I meant to say. What's interesting here is that we have a variable here. We set that equal to the calling of multiplication with these three numbers. Oh, sorry, with these three numbers. And then result is going to be returned back into multiplication and it's gonna be set to our main result. So then if we drop a line down here and then hit print, or if we call our print function and then put in main result here, uh, what's going to happen is if we go back into the game and then we hit play, then what's going to be printed is the number eight because we wrote our function differently to where we return the value, we return the results of the multiplication of number one, number two, and number three. And so we bring that back into here to where multiplication returns whatever is multiplied by this, by whatever is multiplied with th these three numbers. And then it's going to be 
set equal to main result, and then we're gonna print that result. So this was a quick lesson on uh, return statements. It's gonna be very useful later down the line, but there is another use case for return statements, which I will show you in the next video. So um, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. For the learning objective, uh, you could do something similar to what I just did, but instead you can make a division function that takes in a bunch of numbers, and then you return different results so that's pretty much going to be it for this tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.